This is YNN, your evening news now. Thousands of runners took part in today's CDPHP Workforce Team Challenge, just like they have been for years in Albany, but this year in the wake of the Boston bombings, some things were different. Here with details now, our very own Aaron Vanella. Great night for a run, Aaron. That's for sure, Kate. I wish I was in it, but I will say almost 10,000 runners did compete, but there wasn't even one problem. Racers we talked to say they complied with police in the name of safety. The only bags allowed in had to be clear tonight. If you brought in a backpack, it was searched. Police asked participants not to bring in backpacks, coolers, or pets, and we didn't see too many when we walked around that pre-race area ourselves. No one seemed to be bothered by the extra safety measures. Well, luckily, my shirt has a little pocket <laughs> that fits my car key, and I'm carrying everything else. So, I mean, it was maybe not the ideal, but I'd rather everybody be safe. Officers were stationed around the course today, all of them wearing bright yellow vests with the idea that if someone was to see something wrong, they could say something easily and alert them very easily. The runners behind me have completed that three and a half mile race. More of them, uh, well, they ran it pretty fast, I have to say, when I saw the first three go by, I thought, really, they finished that already? A lot of good runners, but it was a great day for the race. Kate? All right, Aaron Vanella reporting for us tonight. Thanks, Aaron.